These pictures of a desolate alien landscape are broadcast from Mars. The grainy black and white images show Martian gravel with nearby landmark Mount Sharp. NASA scientists also released a low resolution video of the spacecraft's plunge through the atmosphere. John Grunsfeld, head of space science, took the opportunity to hit back at critics after the landing. Uh, there are many out in the community who say that NASA has lost its way, that we don't know how to explore, that we've lost our moxie. I want you to look around tonight, all those folks with the blue shirts, think about what we've achieved. I think it's fair to say that NASA knows how to explore, we've been exploring, and we're on Mars. This is Curiosity's more grounded twin brother. This stunt double demonstrates how the rover will navigate the Martian surface, grinding its way across rocks and hazards. The one-ton robot will hunt for evidence of microbes on Mars and harvest a host of data. There's a group of people who is currently, they're building the sequences that we're going to send to the rover in about two hours to tell it to execute our pre-planned SOL-1 activities. So they're busily looking at the times and making sure that we're uplinking the data at the right time. It takes 14 minutes to send commands from Earth to the rover on Mars. Projects like this are vital to NASA. Without the space shuttle program, NASA needs to engage and inspire the public to care about this little robot. For the team in mission control, they are waiting to see where Curiosity will take them.